On July 12, 2015, the Robert Heltman YouTube channel was created, and between 5.58 and 6.44 AM, 12 mysterious and disturbing videos were posted, with the owner never heard from again. The videos feature the main character, Daisy, a personified dead body, appearing in all video titles, descriptions, and even the metadata. The channel banner is the default, but the profile picture is an image of a Daisy, the personified body's name. Another person, suspected of being the murderer of Daisy, can also be seen in some of the 12 videos. They are a tall man who always hides their identity by wearing a mask and heavy clothing, and they usually wield a knife. Although this person might not be the only one in the house, as the words I and me and other personal pronouns are never used, instead being replaced by third person pronouns such as we and us, implying that there may be more than just the mass man involved in this. The first video, Daisy Arrives, starts with static and an empty chair. After 27 seconds, Daisy appears in the chair as eerie music begins to play. The description is equally chilling, stating, Beautiful Daisy comes to stay. She was very excited. We're all delighted she's here. Daisy and Friends shows Daisy in a chair with a fly buzzing around in the background, possibly implying that Daisy's body is decomposing and flies are drawn to the rotting corpse. The chest on the table opens after 27 seconds and the room brightens. According to the description, Daisy and all of her loving friends gathered for a meal to celebrate her arrival. We spend hours preparing her favorite foods. It's so nice she's here. In Daisy Settles In, we get our first glimpse of the masked man. Daisy is seen lying on what appears to be bags, with strange voices being heard in the background. Around halfway through the video, the man appears in the mirror, simply staring at Daisy's body. According to the description, Daisy settles in for her stay with us. Unfamiliar surroundings are easier to cope with when you are with people who love and care for you. In tucking Daisy in, Daisy is lying on a bed with something covered beneath a blanket near her. When you look closely, you can see it moving up and down, indicating that someone is sleeping under it. If I were to guess who was under the blanket, I'd say it's the masked man. After 35 seconds, the blanket and the person underneath it vanish. According to the description, some people just never grow up. Even at Daisy's age, she still insists on being tucked in at night. Good night, Daisy. Sleep tight. You've a busy day ahead. Daisy Unwinds opens with a masked man feeding Daisy in a bathtub. Even though the bowl is empty, he then starts slamming his head against the tub before vanishing. According to the description, Daisy relaxes after the stresses of the day. In Daisy Feeds the Birds, it begins with someone adjusting or repositioning the camera on Daisy, who is sitting next to an empty birdcage. About halfway through, the birdcage opens and a key appears beside Daisy. The description reads, It turns out Daisy loves our feathered friends. Daisy Tumble depicts Daisy at the bottom of a flight of stairs, with the sounds of a female wailing in the background, probably from Daisy after she has tumbled down the steps. After 43 seconds, the masked man enters the scene and carries Daisy away, with the description reading, Whoops! Even people as graceful as Daisy take a bad step once in a while. Don't worry, Daisy. We'll kiss it better. Daisy helps out in the kitchen depicts Daisy on the floor, with the masked man caressing and stroking the body's head before moving himself up and down off the floor. The man suddenly splits to standing above the body, quietly observing until the video ends. According to the description, this girl is a whiz in the kitchen. Scrumptious meals aplenty. Why didn't we invite her around earlier? Fade out. I'm unsure why fade out was included in the description. In Daisy Plays Hide and Seek, it shows Daisy hiding behind a door, playing hide and seek with a posing skeleton and a lump in the bed. Halfway through the video, the skeleton abruptly changes pose and the lump in the bed shifts. According to the description, we forgot how much fun this game is, especially with so many good hiding places in this old house. Where are you, Daisy? We'll find you. 
Daisy playing shows Daisy hung up against a door. After 31 seconds, the music cuts and the masked man stands before Daisy, gripping a knife in his hands. The man begins cutting and slashing into the body bag, even though Daisy is already dead, with the video ending. The description reads, We never thought the old, overgrown swing set would be used again, but Daisy cleared it off and has been on it all afternoon. So nice to see. This is strange considering a swing set never appears in the video or any video for that matter. Daisy makes a mess. The penultimate video begins with an empty kitchen. This video begins shortly after or before Daisy helps out in the kitchen with more fly noises. Partway through, the masked man places Daisy on the kitchen counter and begins to cut open Daisy, slicing and throwing things outside the body bag possibly Daisy's rotting internal organs, with eerie voices being heard. According to the description, Tisk tisk, Daisy. Don't worry, we'll get it cleaned up. Daisy leaves. The twelfth and final video begins with Daisy laying on the floor next to the home's entrance, with the same music as the first video. Twenty-seven seconds later, Daisy is gone, the music has stopped, and the front door is wide open. By the end of the video, the masked man can be seen one last time, staring out the now closed front door, visibly angry, and gripping a knife in his left hand. The description begs for mercy. No, 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 no! She left us, and now there is no Daisy. No Daisy. Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. We want Daisy back. Bring us back Daisy. We need her here. She should be here. Always here. Before something is moved or an event occurs in each of the 12 videos, a jumble of text appears on screen for a few frames before disappearing. When you look at each image alone, it makes no fucking sense. But when you take all 12 photos scattered among the videos, a nursery rhyme is created, which is as follows. There was a lady, all skin and bone. Sure, such a lady was never known. It happened upon a certain day. This lady went to church to pray. When she came to the church style, there she did rest a little while. When she came to the church yard, there the bells so loud she heard. When she came to the church door, she stopped to rest a little more. When she came the church within, the parson prayed against pride and sin. On looking up, on looking down, she saw a dead man on the ground, and from his nose unto his chin, the worms crawled out, the worms crawled in. Then she unto the parson said, Shall I be so when I am dead? Oh yes, oh yes, the parson said, You will be so when you are dead. Here, the lady screams. This rhyme is from Gamer Gurton's Garland of Nursery Song, which was written by Peter Puzzlecap and published in 1784. The only link I see between this rhyme and Robert Heltman's channel is the message about death and the lady. However, nothing else appears to connect. Many theories have been proposed about the channel, and I'll look at a few of them that are both interesting and convincing. One of the theories proposed is that the masked man in the video killed Daisy and has bipolar disorder. You can see the man go from docile to suddenly stabbing and slicing at the lifeless course in Daisy playing and Daisy makes a mess. It's strange how he gets so angry so quickly at a corpse and, in some cases, even shows care and nurturing to the corpse, as in Daisy Tumble and Daisy Unwinds. The Masked Man may also have other disorders that can't be diagnosed from the videos, which could explain why he has and does what he does with this dead body. Anatoly Moskin, a Russian linguist, was arrested in 2011 after the mummified bodies of girls aged 3 to 25 were discovered in his apartment. Moskvin would dig up these girls' bodies from local cemeteries and mummify them himself before dressing them up, posing them around his home, throwing birthday parties for them, and doing a variety of other odd things. Moskin was diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia after undergoing a psychiatric evaluation. Moskin stated in an interview following his arrest that he felt great sympathy for the deceased girls and believed that they could be brought back to life through science or black magic. Moskin admitted to doing this for over 20 years and was aware he was breaking the law in the same interview. 
Some say this is a similar story to the Robert Heltman channel, with the masked man digging up Daisy's grave, mummifying her and personifying her around his house in a desperate attempt to bring her back to life, and why he was so angry when Daisy left. This theory could also be linked to the bipolar theory because it would explain why the man acts kind and welcoming to Daisy at times, and then becomes aggressive towards her at others. According to fellow YouTuber Inside a Mind, Daisy and the Robert Heltman channel represent Christmas as a whole. It may sound absurd, but bear with me as I explain. The channel's name, Robert Heltman is a reference to an Australian actor of the same name, whose most famous role was the child catcher in the 1968 Christmas musical Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. This role is linked to the channel as the Robert Heltman channel and videos appear to be very childlike, with videos about topics such as Daisy playing hide and seek and being tucked in at night. Daisy Plang's description mentions her enjoying herself on the old swing set. Part of the description of the video Daisy Tumbles reads, We'll kiss it better, like a parent would say to their child that they were hurt. The word scrumptious is used in the description for Daisy helps out in the kitchen. A very interesting word choice, considering one of the families in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang is named Scrumptious and plays a huge role in the movie, with Chitty Chitty Bang Bang being a movie people watch every year during the Christmas season. This leads us to our main point. Have you ever wondered why only 12 videos were uploaded? Daisy arrives in the first video, and everyone is overjoyed to see her, and Daisy departs in the last video, and everyone is shocked by her abrupt departure. The Robert Heltman channel depicts the 12 days of Christmas. The majority of the strange music and voices heard in the 12 videos are music tracks played backwards, with the most common track being a 1921 single titled Santa Claus Hides in Your Phonograph, made for children in the 1920s that features Santa talking about how he hides in the phonograph to avoid scaring the children. This song can be heard in the majority of the videos on the channel, including the first, in which Daisy arrives, and the last, in which Daisy departs. Remember that when Daisy arrives, the song doesn't begin until Daisy appears, and when Daisy departs, the song abruptly ends. Daisy represents this 1920s record, or, to take it a step further, Christmas as a whole. The channel is a representation of how Christmas has died. It's the same recycled routine every single year, with the same decorations, movies, carols, and songs. Christmas is a decaying body that we invite into our homes every year for 12 days, and during that time, we abuse and exploit it. People go overboard on spending and use Christmas as an excuse. People try to avoid paying bills because it's Christmas, and we drink and eat more because it's Christmas. With all of its color, magic, and joy, Christmas is the ultimate child catcher.